Welcome back to my Wednesday tip. This one is about this very cool product. It is called a water pencil, I think. Uh, eraser brush with water. There you go. And it opens like this. And it, uh, this top part, it's as if it screws on backwards. And you fill this with water. And then there's a paintbrush right here at the top. Can't get my hands where you can see me. There you go. And so twist that back on and it is ready whenever you are. It has a cap, but um, when I'm working and the blue mark here, it kind of hides my stitching, but I want to see what it looks like. I don't want to squirt the whole quilt. I can get the water just where I need it to be if I brush it with this. Now that'll disappear in just a second. And it controls where the water goes a little bit better. Now I have to say, this is not the way to get blue pen out. Um, blue pen will come back when it um, the water it might spread out with a watermark and so you want to make sure that you're actually immersing it when you do your final removal because otherwise it may uh, cause marks that don't come out on your quilt so that's how I erase it right now just to see my stitching because sometimes when the blue marks are there and my stitching it makes it so I can't see if I'm exactly where I meant to be and it works also with this purple pen. This purple pen is an air erasable one, and if I left that for a day or two, it would go away. Or I can erase it with the pen here on the end, but sometimes these pens on the end don't last as long as the pen, the purple mark, and so those will also go away with this if you just keep brushing it. So that water will remove it, or this tip will remove it on this Marvy marker and it will remove the blue, but not a complete 100% removal. I still recommend that you immerse the whole quilt, and that's my tip this week.